All right, let me tell you this story. We have shops in three different cities in Germany. In Stuttgart, we have shop Berlin and Hamburg. And our three shops are generating every business day a lot of raw data on sales, inventory levels, products, staff, costs, and so on. And now we have a group of people that are the decision makers, like managers, HR, finance, and they have many questions and decisions to make. So they might have questions, for example, what happened? And another question about what will happen? Now, if the managers try to find the answers from the raw data, they might find nothing and no answers because the raw data are usually very complex and badly structured and they are really hard to understand. And that's why they're gonna go and hire some data analysts, for example, in order to help them finding the answers from the raw data. So the data analyst is gonna go and start analyzing the raw data by doing some magic for example cleaning up the data connecting objects together and aggregating the data in different levels and at the end the result will be communicated as for example spreadsheet to the decision makers and in the other hand the managers can hire data scientists in order to help them finding answers about what gonna happen or uncover unknown facts and insights so the data science gonna as well go and start analyzing the raw data but this time you using different methods like for example data mining, machine learning or train a model in order to find new insights, new knowledge and answers the questions. At the end the output gonna be communicated as well to the managers as numbers and spreadsheets. Now both of the data scientists and the data analysts did amazing job working on the raw data and analyzing those stuff. But the problem here is that the output might be hard to understand and to read because those managers are usually people that don't work directly with the data every day. So this could lead to a big gap between those managers and the results. And now in order to bridge this gap and make everything easier, we can use the power of data visualizations and the result presented from the data scientist and the data analyst should be converted from this boring numbers and spreadsheets to visuals, graphs, and charts. The visual representations of the data will just do the magic by making everything clear and easy. And it's gonna bring very easily the wow effect once you are presenting your results. So it's gonna help the managers to immediately find their answers and they're gonna start making decisions using the data. This process, we call it a business intelligence or as a shortcut, BI. All right, so now I hope you have better understanding what is business intelligence. And next, we will understand why visualizations is so powerful and what is data visualization. 